Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. Today we are touring this F350 King Ranch and we are gonna get into all of it. The car seats, the family friendly features, and just like we know this thing can tow and like do all the truck things, but can it fit a family? Is this a car versatile enough to be a good family hauler. If it's your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of three, almost four, and I'm a certified child passenger safety tech. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, two family-esque features that I really love about the outside of this F350 are, one, the keypad. Why don't other manufacturers do this? It's just for holding on to it. And I think this actually makes it so convenient for people. If someone has to run out to your car and get something, they can just get in with the keypad. I love it. Also, I'm tall. This car is tall. This is a big car, which can make getting kids in and out of car seats or just even yourself difficult. So I'm loving the power running boards found on this car. We also have a ton of good storage. Really all trucks do. It's like trucks and minivans are just reigning supreme in cup holders and cubbies. And let's start with the door panel of this F-350. Look at all of this great extra space to hold things like cleaning supplies, tissues, napkins, water bottles, your wallet, like whatever you would need is right here within reach. We also on this King Ranch Edition are gonna have a ton of like luxury features. This is such a nice, nice truck. Not only do we have good fit and finishes like some textured chrome, some nice leather, some contrast stitching, but the technology is also great. We have heads up display and I, I know you can't see it, sorry. I'm loving the heads up display in this car. It is so wide. I can see the time, the temperature, how fast I'm going, the navigation, who's calling, but not in a distracting way very impressed and I wish they would put heads up display on the Expedition because I think as of now you can't get it. So hopefully for 2025 you can get an, an Expedition with heads up display because that's such a good feature. Also check this out. On the dash it has a seatbelt sensor so you can tell who is buckled and who is not. So I'm sitting in my seat. I'm not buckled right now but if I click my buckle in my driver's seat will turn green. So obviously this King Ring Tradition comes with all of the bells and whistles, backup camera, surround view camera, heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, wireless charging, extra charging back here. I also love that you can hide this really nice and sleek. And then look at all of this, a huge cubby space here, two cup holders, wait for it. Oh, now we have four cup holders, a huge center console. I mean, it's just so wide and deep. And I also love that this center console has this very um, flat surface right here. It's the perfect thing to like have a car lunch or like write something down, obsessed. I do like how the F-150s um, have their shifters here and then you can actually fold this whole thing over. You can't do that in this car, which I thought was kind of strange, but this is still plenty big. Plus we have two more cup holders back here. So that's six cup holders and driver's distance, not even counting my door cubbies. That's top 10 right there. Okay, sunroof, which is fun. Something we don't always see a lot of in trucks, but this is not only a sunroof, but a panoramic sunroof. I mean, look at how far back this thing goes. So awesome. Okay, let's talk car seat setup. So this is a five passenger car. We have three seats back here and the seats have lower anchors on the outboard seats and then tether anchors across the back. Um, it's a three across machine. I use a slim car seats. I don't even think I have to, but these are the Graco Slim Fit 3LX. It's one of my go-to um, slim car seats because they really work for three in a lot tighter situations than this one. The clearance is great. The width is great. I think that these are just really solid. It's a really solid bench seat. I mean, to be expected. Also check this out, a door cup holder, amazing. Great cubby space down here as well. I mean, if I had built-in sunshades, I'd probably just sign my name on the dotted line today. Okay, here's a shot of me in the second row of this F-350 lounging. I've sat in recliners less comfortable than this. Great head clearance, good knee clearance. The, the seat fits me well. I'm really, really comfortable. As far as my amenities are concerned, we are gonna have heated seats on the outboard in this King Ren trim level, two USB seats, and then vents on the back of the center console. Just really comfortable and just look at all the floor space I have here. I also love that it's nice and flat. You know, sometimes when we see SUVs, just kind of like depending on the wheelbase and how the car's built, you'll have a bump here, you'll have like, you know, some more indents. This is just nice and flat and I love it. Another really cool storage hack in the Z350 is if you look, if you look the seats up just for a second, you can access this storage underneath here. 
put like, you know, whatever you need, things that you don't use all the time, and then the seats just lay directly on top of it. And of course, no truck is complete without a bed. And this bed is pretty cool. First of all, it's power, which I love. And there is a camera on the top of the truck so that you can still see behind you even if your bed is down. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to this F350 tour. Trucks historically are such family friendly vehicles and Ford has some of the best widest benches. My husband drives an F250. I like the Ford Expedition. So we're big Ford people and I really love this F350 King Ranch.